Hachi Machi, the 2024 Through the Roof Tour is about to launch, baby. Mm -hmm. Come out and see the boys. It's a stand-up comedy show. And then we answer your garbage questions. You've seen the clips. You know it's a good time. Grab the squad and come see the boys, baby. Yeah, it starts April 17th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then April 18th, we're going to Nashville, Tennessee. April 19th in Tampa, Florida at the Tampa Theater. April 20th at the Center Stage Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. Get all those tickets and tickets for all the other cities on the Through the Roof Tour at RUGarbage.com. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grew up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on your monumentous day. Ooh. Coming at you from the old country gang, Dublin, Ireland. Tootie kept her word and got the boys back to the old uh -huh. country. Coming at you from Aunt Riri's place, <laughs> just on the outskirts of Dublin, her and Aunt Tootie are out in the city center doing a little two-man pickpocketing. <laughs> <laughs> Girls haven't been together in a long time, and when they team up, boy, not even, not, not even Interpol can stop them. <laughs> <laughs> we can't thank all the bozos and the homies for getting us here. We appreciate you mm -hmm. guys. We love you. My co-host is coming at you from across the fireplace. He's the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international what? businessman on international grounds. Oh. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Everybody. That better be Deutschmarks. What's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always. Always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. iTunes full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are through the roof. Good. And then obviously the greatest website of all time. I got to tell you guys that www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Shout out to the motherfucking homies. This is why we're here. We appreciate it. It was a goal 12,500 and we fucking crushed Woo! that. So thank you so much. Uh, and then, yeah, so now we're in fucking Dublin, baby. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, X Short and Air. The old magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. And he turned Aunt Riri's living room into the new studio. Give it up for T-Bone McScroffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? Hey, what pal. Up, oh, this is great. I don't know what to do with uh, you next to me. I love it. Dude. I, feel like I'm on, I feel like I'm on the view. No, we got to get you headphones. <laughs> I, want a, no. I want a computer monitor in front of you. <laughs> Good joke there, boss. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. You're dude. killing, buddy. You're like, you're like, you're like the team manager they throw in at the end of the game. <laughs> hey, buddy, move out of the way. No one's playing defense. <laughs> you're bouncing out of football down the court. <laughs> hey, man, I brought my glove to the game and you needed a fourth man. What can I say? <laughs> and with us, as he is always on the road, all right, he's the setup man of the Are You Garbage live show. Even Very when there's not shows anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking finagled his way into this oh, trip. Man. Coming out of my pocket. Tom Cat Daddy Cassidy, everybody. Hey, Tommy C. It's the first time you've mentioned it, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I like it here because the Irish Catholic guilt is just guilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. But all yeah, the, good to be here. All the churches are Catholic. Usually when, you, when you're in New York, you see a church. Oh, could be Presbyterian. Could be this. Could be that. Could be a synagogue. Could be whatever. All Catholic churches here. Mm -hmm. Now you could pop in and start weeping. <laughs> what you were <laughs> pushing to do yesterday after I had about 22 beers. I wanted to, I wanted to go drunk. Yeah, that's crazy. To, that's a sober. Listen, I don't like when I go on vacation. I don't like doing anything I don't do at home. Does that make sense? It's a work trip. Yeah. American Express could be watching this. <laughs> I for well, we are. You, sh you shut your mouth. It's also I love. We've we been might, in meetings all day, everybody. <laughs> we might have them convinced we're actually in like Westchester County. <laughs> <laughs> they just telling them we're in Dublin. Uh, no, I like doing. I don't like going to like museums or nothing because I don't do that shit at home. I don't care. So it's like you know. I like. To I be, like to go get fucked up and have heaters. I like to be in a heightened emotional state when I do stuff like that. You are a twisted to connect, big man. You know what I mean? To I really feel it. I feel like you and need... can't get no shrooms in this joint. <laughs> I feel so like you it's need gotta the... be the it's booze. a work trip, you just said. What? <laughs> I feel like you need the booze so you can actually be honest to the priest. Otherwise, you'd be like, everything's going great. <laughs> Making a lot of progress, Father. <laughs> just turn, turn it back on him. What, what have you been doing? <laughs> what are you up to? You guys ain't had your nose clean. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tell you that much. I've still got a couple of times, though, because I caught a mass when you guys were at a casino. 
And I, uh, hey, who you've been talking to? What the fuck? <laughs> <Cut Scott. that. laughs> you got, I've been trying to control a narrative over here. Also, it's not St. Patrick chased all the snakes out of Ireland. <laughs> yeah. This fucking weird. He's dropping dime on us. I, yeah. also I wasn't there. at a casino. Tom Cassidy, host of uh, the Cat Daddy and Hyena podcast, and also <laughs> FBI agent. You goddamn fed. It's called Cat Daddy and the Pizza Squirrel. But <laughs> Check I it out also on walked over uh, a beautiful graveyard too while you guys were on. Drink number 12 yesterday. <laughs> I, I do like the dark stuff, I got to say. It hits different over here. That is like an old trope you hear. When you get there, the Guinness, it's the, dude, there's something about it. It's clean. It's crisp. It's refreshing. Yeah, for the gang, we've been here for a couple of days. Uh, Two months. It, 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 feel, it feels like a minute. We got here early in the morning, and uh, we charged through, did a full day, and then had a, had a, had a big day yesterday. Uh-huh. Just going around. We did the very it. touristy thing because we got here and our Airbnb wasn't ready, so we dropped the luggage <laughs> and like went just venturing out into the fucking city. Wait, I don't know if that's the normal tourist thing. What? We dropped our luggage at a closed bar. Sure. Well, I'm sure in <laughs> Ireland that's <laughs> split off into the city. <laughs> yeah. No, but a lot of times when you're like traveling to other countries, you have to do that. Like, you know, we typically when we travel, we go check in somewhere and then like sure. go to the show or whatever. We're getting in somewhere in the afternoon. Yeah. This was very like we were just kind of lost in Dublin type deal. Like nowhere to go. We just had to go kill time. Highlight of the trip so far. What do you got? The sausage roll. <laughs> Man. I didn't think it was just what that it says it it's so good. It's the greatest. For everybody in America, they've been lying to us for years. The food here is Woo! unbelievable. It's all right, man. As yeah. long as you like onion gravy. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast. Which I don't hate. Dr- drizzle a little on my eggs. Um, sausage roll is just that. It's just sausage in like a pastry. It's fucking yeah, buttered it's up and crisp and oily. It's so good. I think the best way to describe it is a chocolate croissant, but you replace the chocolate with sausage. Ah, that's pretty good. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've had one every day for breakfast. Well, I've had one every day for my breakfast appetizer. Foley had say. two for breakfast. Again. What's with this guy? <laughs> hey, what do you work for the school newspaper? <laughs> Shut up. I'm just calling balls and strikes, buddy. Luke didn't want his. No, I didn't want mine. Oh. So I had both of them. <laughs> all right, so I had three. I had three. It was also insane because when we flew, we flew red eye. So most of us didn't even sleep at all. So we were on absolutely no sleep that first Which day. Which I thought I would be able to sleep. But, dude, we were in an older plane and my seat was like a You barely chair. fit in it, too. Dude, it sucked. <laughs> I can't. Dude, when you, don't fit in fucking, when you don't fit in first class, you're a, <laughs> you're a fat pig. Man, and I did not fit. I was so uncomfortable the whole time. And plus, there was a guy right next to me. Which, what was up with that? You seemed so uncomfortable. I felt, I felt bad for you. If there was no divider, <laughs> I was, I, I was, I was married to this guy uh-huh. for, for for seven hours, and he was a light sleeper, dude. He had his mask on. He's rolling around. At one point, he like threw his arm over. <laughs> Start jerking yourself off. <laughs> Move on, man. <laughs> Yelling at me to let the cat back in. Yeah, you were <laughs> get the dog off the. It bed. was, uh, it was, it was funny. Not funny to say. I did genuinely because you were propped up in that chair, and you at one point you were the only guy not sleeping. Everybody else is passed out. You were just sitting there like Baby Huey with the fucking screen blasting on your face. Meanwhile, well, whatever. And I tried to do my Bloody Mary thing, and it just didn't work. What, what you're drinking? A hundred of them? <laughs> yeah. You act like it's a big pl- my Bloody Mary, I, dude. Man. I don't know what it is. I can't get. I, I thought you're supposed to get drunker at altitude when you're high. I don't know, dude. I, I were high too. I th- yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I you mean, have a colonic that day as well? I got a colonic done that day too because I wanted to be all freshened up for. <laughs> <laughs> what you got a porn shoot coming on later? What do you mean all freshened up? A lot of hot guys over here. <laughs> See what the boys are doing. What's up, boys? Got a clean field. <laughs> <laughs> I know, hey, I, don't, I know I don't look great, but I keep it I keep it clean. Yeah, oh, the greens are fast today, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is cut and the lawn's been watered. Um, <laughs> no, I just I wanted to you know I wanted to feel fresh. I was just feeling like like grody. Um, grody? Gross. It felt gross. Is grody a specific word for you to describe you? Because I called never... him earlier. Charles Grody. <laughs> <laughs> called him Charles Grody. <laughs> Charles Groden. <laughs> It's no? a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. a Midnight Run fan. Huh? <laughs> Check it out. Yes. And when I went to the uh, colonic place, I got done. And I was like, um, first of all, when I got there. How much you tip? 
I tip it's, twenty. This is this is a mining key. <laughs> <laughs> got you up on they got you up on the lift. I I, I tip twenty. It's ninety. You I tip t- them. You got it. You tip them. Do you know what they're doing? I, I figured they're doctors. No, not these doctors. guys. Dude, they're not doctors. Dude, but they it's failed a, at a beauty school. It's what a medical talk? field. No, dude, tipping no. them changes the vibe for no. sure, dude. If only gets this done at Jiffy Lube. What are you yeah, talking about? Wait, this this is not. No, this isn't like a doctor's office. Does anybody have any medical training there? I mean, I don't know. They were watching ER when I got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, GEDs seem good to me. No, it's um. So it's like a more of a beauty place. No. What other services do they provide? That they just do colonics. And you're tipping them? That seems strange to me. There was a there was a slot there. They got to change the buckets and stuff like that. <laughs> Wash the change houses. the buckets. Yeah, the grody buckets. <laughs> the grody buckets. You got a lot of grody in you, sir. <laughs> No, they're not doctors. They might be nurses' assistants or something. They were wearing scrubs <laughs> with jeans. <laughs> and but when I got there, it was just a lady. She checks me in, whatever. I go in there and do my thing. But when I came out, there was a dude there, and he was eating soup at the counter. That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> like you, he was. That's re- the worst colonic. He, 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 you can't be eating. He was really chomping on it. And then I went in and used the bathroom, and I came back out, and I was talking to him. And he just volunteered. He's like, man, you got a lot in you and this and that and going over it. <laughs> and like how many years it's been in there and all this stuff. And then uh, I was like, usually the smell doesn't bother me. But you, <laughs> my God, I was like, um, I was like, uh, you know, can I drink? On, can I drink after this? And they were like, no, absolutely not. I'm like, I'm about to get on a seven hour flight. <laughs> I look up like that's your excuse for being an alcoholic. <laughs> well, sir, I got to go to work. <laughs> And he's like, you know, the things open up and you'll really soak in the alcohol. And he's like, he's like I was like, so what's going to happen? He's That's like, what you think, buddy. He's like, he's like, it's going to hit you really hard. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> That's kind of why I came in here. <laughs> and then we went, then we, we got to the airport. I had that one Bloody Mary to test the waters. Nothing, because he's like, you're going to get a headache. You're going to want to throw well, yeah, up. I mean, you, you, didn't, sick. you didn't really let it. Any sort of, if there was going to be any symptoms, you don't want to marinate. You crush two, but yet you got one, scold it. When I, I feel okay. You got a field test. I know, but I'm just saying, it's not like, what if it, what if the symptoms, the side effects kick in in 25 minutes? I was worried about that about halfway through the flight. That you were going to just start leaking out of your butt or something. No, no, not that. That I was just going to get real nauseous and real sick. But it didn't happen. Because then we ate, we had lunch, and then I got on the plane, and I literally had, it's great when you get a flight attendant, you just gets it and just plays ball. And just, here you go. Just bang. You mean someone who doesn't push back on your consumption? Yes. <clears throat> and I probably had, like, you know, my normal 15 Bloody Marys. And That's I, insane. And I couldn't sleep. Fresh off a of colonic. Yeah. I thought it would hit me and knock me out, but I couldn't. I didn't sleep at all. I maybe slept for, like, 10 minutes. And well, then we landed, and then we, then we hit the ground running. Well, me, Tommy, and Luke were standing in steerage back to back. Spinning in, in circles, ready to fight. It was like the hull of that Titanic down there. Yeah. Everybody was dancing. Standing around a burning trash can. <laughs> trying to keep warm. Take it back. Panels ripping off. Singing. That's another thing, too. We were on a Boeing. Which made me a little nervous. Oh, the fact that we sat for 45 minutes because the, the bathrooms didn't work or whatever? The, the, the toilet didn't work. How crazy is that? And my girl was just, on a, was, was just on a flight. Same thing. Something went wrong, and it was a Boeing. It's these little things. That's what makes you nervous. Was the colonic a preventative measure for a seven-hour flight where you knew you couldn't poop? You're like, I got to get no. all the poop out of my body because I don't go to the bathroom on a plane. That's what I'm saying. But I, but I, I, it's. I, I'm telling you, it shut everything. His shuts body off. knows that it can't do it, it's so it doesn't something. even let him. Like how, his how body's many, just like I'm in. I'm in you, panic you, mode. You sit with the, the me door, all the time. The door, the door gets sealed, and then so does his dick. You, you sit with <laughs> <laughs> some crazy guy trying to open it. <laughs> You've been on a plane with me multiple times. Do I ever get up to use the bathroom? No. Yeah. I think. You also, yeah, you don't go to the bathroom a whole lot in general. You're like, I think it's like, yeah. I don't know what you're doing, but you <laughs> keep it in you. Do you got a colostomy bag somewhere yeah. you don't know about? I you got that... 40-year-old pee in you, sir. <laughs> it's all the old gum he's been swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> got this boy clogged up. Yeah, I, I Fucking, to... <laughs> it's, like, it's like a can of Flex Seal in there. That used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. What? That the gum would stay in there for 30 years or whatever. Doesn't it? No, that's bullshit. How stomach acid not going to kill gum? Luke, give that, give that a look. Oh, by the way, how about a shout-out to Lukey over there? 
It's working the ones and twos today. <laughs> monitor in the monitor and mo monitor in the, uh, the 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 episode here. Kid's really been pulling his weight at Luke Dempsey. Less than seven days. It's gone. Yeah, see, it, it, it dies or stop saying dies. You got me saying dies. <laughs> you so, said dies. Uh, you started it. When did I say dies? You said it's got to kill gum. Death. <laughs> I didn't say We're all that. gonna die. <laughs> 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 the electrical and I don't know. It? We might. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the, the flips, the switches are upside down. Everything's fucking backwards <laughs> over here. She better not Nothing come makes back. Sense. Yeah. Nothing makes sense. It's insane. Dude, the doors are so. There's doors I can't fit. Through. I don't know what the oh, fuck you're man, doing. It sucks. I saw him get trapped in a vestibule at a bar yesterday oh <laughs> for like three minutes. They Some all... lady had to open the door for him, and she could have moved the fuck out of the way <laughs> if she wasn't sitting there. I could have maybe. Still not gotten through. Yeah, We've no, been, you're 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 behind the, enemy lines here. The door, but not it's not that bad. I haven't not been able to fit into a booth. We've been jamming. Oh, We've been jamming the, you in booths all yeah. fucking week, buddy. Only because they don't screw in their their tables at booths here. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> they don't have the technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have the half doors, so it's 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 two doors instead of one connected. But to it's each one other. regular sized door and that's cut in half. Yeah. It's not like two big doors. It's a little door, like a cowboy door, like a saloon door. Yeah. I've and that's it, cut in half. And then you got to, I mean, they're tight for me. I've had to slide through. I've had to slide through. Dude, I don't fit in a lot of the bathrooms. I don't know what you're doing. I love the urinals, though. The open urinals. Oh, the He's trough. Just peeing everywhere. Just, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's like peeing outside. Sir, this is the office. <laughs> What? Okay, please get out of here. I got everything in Gaelic. I can't read nothing, lady. Just put some English on this joint. This uh, is a camera store, sir. I got to say, though, what a, what a place. Uh, it's been fantastic. What a trip. And this is just the beginning. We're in Dublin now, and then we're heading out to the country for a few days, going all, all around the aisle, boys. Mm -hmm. And it's all going to be documented and put on Patreon. Yeah. We're going to do a bunch of videos, a bunch of episodes from here. Uh, so, so, so it'll be a fucking good time. And everyone has been so sweet over here, except the hammer drunk kid who poked his head out of the car and called me a pussy last night. That nice. <laughs> I've been a little disappointed with that. What? <laughs> because there's a gaggle of, for some reason, it's just all like high school kids walking around in packs wearing like high school, like, yeah, Catholic uniform. school uniform yeah. or like soccer. Well, I think shirts. they get out for lunch and stuff and they go get lunch. That's when we see them. You know, That's so when we, you see the packs. We, of we, them. We've 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 gone by so many packs of them. Not one of them has said, oh, look at the size of you. I was hoping I'd get a little, you know, I I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you fat piece. Of You're mixed in there. <laughs> Hey, call this one fat. I was, of this one. You're, yeah, you're in a Girl Scout. Like, you know, Pay some kids to throw rocks at Foley. Come on, give them I, that. I was just walking down the street back. I left you guys at the casino. I was walking back to the, to the spot. And this kid's just hammered, laid out. He just catches me and just goes, hi, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I want. I want the authentic experience. That's all right. <laughs> Big shout out to Lucy. If you want to be able to have your nicotine anywhere, anytime, like the like Kippy, Lucy is where it's at. It's 100% pure, uncut, tobacco-free nicotine. You choose between pouches, breakers, or gum. You can try them all. You can find your favorite. Uh, the breakers I like when I'm in a pinch. They're fantastic. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. They're nicotine pouches with flavor capsules inside. It's a good time. Just break the capsule with your teeth and your pouch will be hit with a wave of awesome flavor and hydration. Uh, a lot of people on the AYG team are using them. We use them on a plane. You use them in a meeting. You do whatever. When you can't, when you need your Nick fix and you can't get it, Shout out to Lucy Breakers. With flavors like apple cider, mint, espresso, and mango, there's something for everyone. Let's level up your nicotine routine with Lucy. Go to lucy.co and use promo code GARBAGE to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and a 30-day refund policy. That's lucy.co. Use the code GARBAGE to get 20% off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print. We got to do it. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. How about a few words from Mando? If you've ever forgotten to put on deodorant before a run, you know how you can smell like a tub of shit. Stop the stink before it even starts with Mando. 
It's made with mandelic acid that controls odor for 72 hours. It's a whole body deodorant, so you can put it on your pitch, your package, your feet, anywhere you smell and you wish you don't. Mando's got you covered. With scents like bourbon leather, clover woods, get ready to level up, smell incredible, and be a goddamn gentleman walking around smelling like bourbon leather. Uh, it's fantastic. We got it here in the uh, in the studio after we after we record, and I got to go out and do sets. I whoo hoo, throw some on, and I show up to the club feeling nice and cozy. Mando is aluminum free, baking soda free, cruelty free, dye free, and vegan. Good peeps over there, at Mando. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant. Cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. They're giving it away over there. Luckily, we have a discount code to help you get hooked on our favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That's over 40% off your starter pack. Hachi machi. Use the code garbage at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. It's time to smell better naked. Your partner will thank you. We did, attend, we did attend a shady casino. It was a very European. It felt like Bond-esque casino. If it was full with, like, swanky people. The vibes of it, Of right? the second one. Of... Oh, not the first one. I was thought you were talking about the, the first, first one. The first one was an arcade that was illegal, for yeah, sure. Yeah, the oh, first man. casino, for folks that don't know, there's cas- there's little casinos all throughout the city. It's mostly video gaming. There's not a lot to have live dealers. And, you know, I, you know, we like to get a couple in us and then go, you know, ha- have a good time, blow off some steam. I mean, steam. we drank about 40 beers yesterday. Let's, like, we honestly drank about 40 beers. I know, I'm pretty sick today. I'm you not were lie. drunk. Oh, I was fucking... Yeah. Yeah. You were drunk. Uh-huh. You were so I drunk. I don't... I saw you at your drunkest at the casino. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what were you? What were you fucking? Who what were you? The mayor all of a sudden? Who are you, Mother Cabrini? What the fuck? <laughs> Never touch this stuff. You and your Joe Dirt hair you got going on right now. You look like Joe Dirt's dad, dude. Well, co- compared to Luke, everybody looked like senators. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had oh, to bring, oh, man. I had to bring Luke home. <laughs> he was getting horny back here, too. <laughs> Watching the local news, oh, I'd screw her. <laughs> Take it easy. She's 60 years old. Aunt <laughs> Riri was fine with it. Dude, like a running Aunt Riri. Oh, just the boy. He's got a little fire in him. <laughs> Good thing Uncle Willie's out of town, huh? Oh, yeah. The TV situation here is tough. I think I just don't think I like we have it. it. I, yeah, I, I love it. I love uh, the only other time I've been uh, out of the country is... is uh, in France, where there was a TV, and watching like the European the Greece too. Yeah, but we don't. There was no TV. Oh. I don't remember watching. They don't have TV. television in Greece. <laughs> no, about where we were. Um, or I, Sounds I just like a nice hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't remember watching. Sure. They had TV, obviously. Tommy, I'm not saying that the place doesn't have TV, duh. But in in France, it was the winter. We were in the hotel a little bit more. And watching like the European news, I love it. The the, the European game shows are a little wonky. This man, this they f- had four of the dumbest <laughs> Irish guys on TV. They didn't know nothing. It was crazy. We were watching The Chaser last night. I don't even know. Yeah, it was called The Chaser. This feels nice like, program. This feels like we're on a game show. Like I'm about to buzz in. <laughs> <laughs> Fully fat. Um. Yeah, the game shows here are very like simple and the contestants are very dumb and it's like multiple choice and they always get it wrong. And it's like it just keeps going. I'll and- tell you what ain't dumb. This Lucas aid is delicious. Everything's like yeah, everything's it's a little right. a little kooky. It's the oh man, the cheese and onion chips are to die for. Just to, just think. I I know this this is a little a little silly, a little mushy. Well, when we were at Grave Diggers yesterday, or the Grave Diggers, this bar where Tommy was walking through the cemetery. It's one of the famous, uh, they, say, they say it's the best pint of Guinness. It's very highly renowned as one of the best pints of Guinness in Dublin. I don't know. Well, we were sitting back there at a table, having beers, eating crisps. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a bag. When you, That's the sentimental part for you? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when right. Kippy came back with those taters. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you've had potatoes nine different ways. I mean, that's ways. something I've heard about. You know, as, yeah, a, no, as it's a, a very... dirtbag Irish kid, I've heard that my whole life. That's one of the that's one of the things that like they only give you crisps over there when you eat. Yeah, they give you potato chips at the bar. I love the pub culture. Obviously, I'm a big booze bag. There's no way around that. But the pub culture of like 
We went to this other place, the Long Hall, where we, oh. bumped, where we bumped into a fucking a bozo. Yeah, shout, shout out to him, Pauly. Uh, yeah, and um, but it's like carpeted. They're not playing music. It's just the hang. It's just the vibes of like. There's no DJ. There's no fucking pinball machine. There's no digital jukebox. It's you're just hanging and having a fucking pint. Yeah, which I was actually stunned last night at dinner. The only time that we did walk into a place, I want to know how fucked up I was. I forgot we had dinner last night. Because we were literally sitting next to a dude that was belting out. That was the loudest bar that we had been to. It was live music, yeah. It was live music. And we were about two feet away from uh-huh. two guys belting out Wonderwall and a high top table. And I'm like, we're not eating here, right? He kept like, yeah, why not? Right. I was, I, you know how fucked up I was? I shared a ch- fish and chips with you. That's crazy. That's, that's how you know that I'm a fat piece of shit and I've had one You've too been many. sharing food with me. No. What else did I do? You gave me you get, some of your bangers and mash oh, well, we, today, we, yeah, we, and a piece of your steak. Threw it right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was done eating the steak. Okay. Um, but yeah, I get drunk. You know what I mean? Hey, you tried my soup yesterday. No, I just shot off. Yeah, sure. you did. You did. His you soup? did. You yeah, tried his soup. You did. I swear you did. Shout out to I the swear. seafood chowder I with swear. a piece of brown bread. You got your no fork, way. I swear, after he was done eating it, Oh, I you ate it with a fork. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God, dude, you I got to stop drinking, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. This man. is your scared straight. That's bad, dude. Get you in a Breva and soda later. It's <laughs> always oh. going to be in an- <laughs> Dude, I hate this. <laughs> you were petting oh. strange dogs and stuff. No, you, were, dog. were uh, you were petting strange dogs, dude. <laughs> so were you. You were too lazy to bend down. That thing was eyeball. Oh, the one out front? Yeah. That had a man face on it. (laughs) (laughs) That dog looked like a dude. It looked like my Uncle Eddie. That dude, that dog was a dude. That that dog had a job. You ever seen a dog dog with a beard? (laughs) Yeah. He had human eyes just fucking. He was a scaffolder. (laughs) Working for men in black. Holy hell. (laughs) Yeah, that was a guy. That that dog. Okay. I I pet Uh. two dogs. There were dogs at the bar. I wasn't stopping people on the street. Sure. There were dogs at the bar. That's not crazy. I mean, eating your soup with a fork, to me, that's one of the all-time crazy things I've done drinking. <laughs> Even like spring break and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Dude, uh, what yeah. are you talking about? I couldn't believe it. You've been hot- wearing the same shirt for four days straight. Hey, yeah, dude, what is that? All, right. Can we do five minutes and on this? You, and then you went, before we get started, he goes, I think I have bird shit on my pants. Were you at the zoo? He also thought he licked the bird shit. I did. I hope. I think it was filling or something. Maybe it's mashed potato. I hope it wasn't. If it was bird shit, I'm definitely. Where would you've gotten shit on by a bird? What do you mean? They're fucking and everywhere. How would it wind up in your mouth? And how would you not know? Nobody gets shit on a little bird. Like you would know a bird shit on the front of you. <laughs> the bird thought he was a statue of Wim- William Henry Thoreau. Between you, me, and the idiots here, <laughs> it's food on you. If, if there's I hope a ninety nine point nine, I had like a metallic taste when I because I went like that and then licked it. And then not thinking went like that and did it Sad again. But true. All right. Days. How much longer are you going to wear that T-shirt? That's crazy. It's going to just. a lot. It's going to disintegrate at some point. No, it's. Listen, I have clothes allotted for Dublin. I have clothes allotted for the other. Uh, the I other. have one T-shirt for Dublin. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> I got one sock for Galway. I didn't know how to pack. How many T-shirts? Why? Uh, this is insane that this is always... You have such a weird thing. You've been with, wearing the same sweatshirt for three days. Yeah, it's wearing fucking... We've been walking around. I have. I put. I shower and put on a new undershirt. I shower and every this, day. A different I showered, hoodie. I showered last night when we got back from the casino. A hoodie's different than a T-shirt. Correct. With stains all over it. Yep. That's like... That's not even My close sweatshirt to- has stains all over it, too. Man, this is <laughs> the true. perfect setup for really ganging up on somebody. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. I feel like I'm on like the I feel like I'm on one of those shows like after the, the last reality show of the season when they bring all oh, the, the, the wrap like, up. Yeah, the wrap up show. I'm going to start fucking throwing champagne at you. And stuff. After they've seen all the footage of them talking shit yeah. behind closed doors. <laughs> also, it's insane. The, the street is right. You hear people breathing when they walk by that. Yeah, it's right crazy. There. Bunch of chimney sweeps. That's like a that's like a door. That's like a kick in a that's just a last, piece of wood right last there. night i was nuzzled in bed ready to go sleepy time and then through this the 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 the, the cold irish quiet i hear hank facetiming his cat doing his fucking cat baby oh, voice fucking blow my brain i was out. ready to hang myself i thought you may have heard somebody outside <laughs> no i just shout and get back here i, I just hear oh boopsy coopsy boopity boop oh. daddy's in ireland really ganging up all right i'd like to point out he has <laughs> a lot of boys on a plane <laughs> he, he, he also has a lot of stains on his jeans as well i'd like to point out 
Hey, thanks, Tom. <laughs> hey, this isn't a this isn't your dry cleaning podcast. <laughs> Or you know, some 24-hour Martin Isaac would really help that. Pick it up on Thursday. <laughs> I got to charge hey, you the sir, extra. You shrunk my blazer. No ticket Tommy over here. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Yeah, I'm a little worse for wear, but I thought that was the plan. <laughs> what? <We> said, <laughs> to, to not change for a week? No, we you said that was the plan. Nobody wanted to bring... Nobody you still have cat hair on your hoodie. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You landed in another country covered in cat hair. <laughs> that's... There was a cat on the plane. I'm surprised customs didn't get you for bringing animals across the... You were a fucking poacher. Sir, do you have a bag of moles with you by any chance? Sir, where did you, where did you get this tusk at? Hold on. We Nobody wanted to bring a, a, a check-in bag because we had all the gear, okay? So I had. And also, bring, we're traveling town to town in cars, so it's a lot. We, we, yeah, we, and not everybody can bring a full-size suitcase and the gear. So I brought two pair of jeans... That's more than I brought one pair of jeans. All right. Three T-shirts. Two hoodies. You brought three shirts for 12, for 12 13 days. days. I mean, we're going to do laundry. <laughs> right? What is this week? Like, we're going to go to the club. Who the hell brings three T-shirts? Yeah, I think I brought I brought at least 10 T-shirts. I brought minimum. 10? Minimum. You know how many I brought? 12. Yeah. 12 T-shirts. Wow. So we got All one right, more day up. left on the shirt? I brought 12 pairs of socks. I brought seven pair of underwear. I oh brought my, my shoehorn. I brought uh, my shaving kit, and I brought my uh, my my nice jacket and my uh, my, my uh, canvas jacket. I mean, and, and, a, and a stocking hat, a winter hat. Nobody else brought a winter hat. <laughs> I have one. Dude, three T-shirts for a twelve-day trip. That means you got to. That means you have to do laundry four times on vacation. Nah, uh in in not, not unless you wear the same the way thing he every does day. it. Yeah, what do you mean? I got it mapped out. So you get three days out of each one. That dude, that's <laughs> that's. We're just going around. We're oh, recording. I, a, I, we're I, recording a show, and you you got stains from five meals all over your shirt. I have <laughs> a sweatshirt over top of it. <laughs> I, mean, I, also, I, also br- I also brought my V-neck sweater in case we go somewhere nice. What ply is we, we, Which we've not yet been taken to a nice a, a nice joint. How, how- yeah, dude, we've been blackout drunk by 4 p.m. every day. <laughs> not to mention, every every meal we've had, you've been out there like you just saw Saving Private Ryan for the first time. You're like, that was an incredible experience. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Listen, you can say what you want. Look, I've been off the Ozempics for a few weeks. So I don't really think that's no, it. No, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's, been, it's been a minute. Maybe no, I was being sarcastic. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was pretty well, good. Well, you eat one of your pairs of socks last night. <laughs> Holy shit. He, he dude, brought six freaking... shirts, but he ate three of them. I don't know what it is about the food over here, but it just Dude. It, it hits it hits some primeval instinctual button inside of me. I used that, voracious. How good was that bacon and bacon and cabbage? I yesterday? used voracious to describe how you have been eating over here. Yeah, that really caught up to me. That that the at the, the, the fresh at the French joint. It was just so good. I also thought and it pl- was. Plus, he's giving the, you guys smoking me up. I'm all I'm all drunk and drinking. It's hard not to look at. And you. I've been putting my steps in. I got ten thousand the first day. I got ten thousand yesterday. We, we I got up and went for a walk no, this morning. No, calories, yesterday morning. not steps. <laughs> <laughs> I hit ten thousand a day. Doing all right. What did no, you say? No, obviously, but, but also, hey, we're on vacation. Like we're, we're giving you a hard time. Obviously, I said blow it out. Which I, I love that. Blow it out. We're on and vacation. I'm, I'm shocked that you do do that. You you do give me leniency when we're on vacation or when we're you know when we're. When this we're is the away. first. This is the first vacation we've taken in three years. But yeah, true. Blow it out. I don't. I mean, like. Now's not I'm the time. I'm keeping it somewhat responsible, and we're walking by, everywhere. By what? I mean, like this is where this is the crux of hard feelings, and us. It feels like we're harping on you because you go, "I'm going to keep it tight." I've been keep like just go. I've, been, buddy. I've been eating and drinking like a fat piece of shit that I am. You still try to go. I'm doing pretty good. You ate most of the entrees at dinner the other night, Dude. so you can't say That's you've been true. doing all right. Like. I, 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 no listen, one's you want to say most of the appetizers? Fine. <laughs> you ate my. You ate my. You ate anything that was left. You were yeah. like a goldfish that couldn't <laughs> stop eating. Like, Which literally. is fine, but don't keep like you keep spinning this narrative. I'll be keeping it. Dude, we were at the airport. You're like, I'm going to keep it tight this whole time. You had like 19 drinks before we got yeah, home. I why I dude, I was that. like, shit. Well, 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 you immediately started walking it back. And she's like, I'm going to keep it tight. And then like three minutes later, you're like, I'm going to keep it kind of tight. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I'm going to keep it kind of. I had to Oscar. 
I had to, I'm going to keep ordering. I literally. <laughs> <laughs> just keep walking. Yeah, let it, buddy. Blow the, blow the fucking doors I off. Had, I don't I, care. Uh, I had to Oscar Schindler my bangers and mash from you yesterday. <laughs> Tommy sneaking them out in napkins. <laughs> Dude, I had to get it out of there. Um, well, listen, yeah, no, I get it. How man. did how did Ireland does Ireland have a bad name for food? Yeah, notoriously, in yeah. my mind, it bad? did. Yeah, the Ireland, it's like it's, it's like British. British. They lied to us. Yeah, yeah Ireland and the UK fucking have awesome. Have, have real I also bad don't rep. know that it's. I, 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 it might be one of those things where like we're also not getting pizza. We're getting dude. The bangers and mash is sausage and mashed potatoes with and onion with the gravy. Brown, and onion with gravy. the brownest gravy. On and it. every place that we've eaten at, so which good. it's been like, like six an oil or seven change spot. from a ninety-two to it's, 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 it's dirt so bag good. food. It's like yeah, give me sausage. Give me the sausage. I have eaten a lot of sausage over here. Uh, but it's, we're eating a lot of sausage. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you saying just, that. Dude, we've eaten like a fried, lot of sausage it, at breakfast, sausage at dinner. Sausage at supper time, baby. Dude, it's a it. lot of sausage. But I'm, I'm like that. Those wings were the best wings I've ever had in my life. Best but, wings we ever had. <laughs> you remember, Tommy. Yeah. Plus the chips. cut, Dude, it's great. The food's tight, man. It's it's, it's also, yeah, but they're, the, the, <laughs> the, the best was last night. Foley was dipping fries into something green. He was like, I was like, what is that? He's like, I don't know. I was like, it looks like guacamole. He's like, nah, I don't know what it is. I, was oh, like, I thought that was guacamole for the longest time. And I'm I was like, and I'm so glad you didn't. I, I ate everybody's of that. It was, it was, <laughs> it, was in a, it was in a little ramekin that came on everybody's plate. It was mushy peas. <laughs> it was, it was like, sign me up. I had a I go that. It, 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 Oh, that's funny because I didn't it know. Tasted, it tasted I like remember he did lean into me. He goes, that's not guacamole, by the way. Like yeah. he was letting me in on the big blue, the case open. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't tell nobody, but that ain't guacamole. Get while they're getting good. Keep that under, keep that under wraps <laughs> until next week. <laughs> yeah. Tommy looked at you. It looked like guacamole, but also how stupid and drunk were we that I'm like, I ordered bangers and mash and fish and chips and it came with guacamole. I just chalked it up to, these Irish guys are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't once go, clearly it's not guacamole. These bozos will throw anything at you. Yeah, I'm like, man, I guess they do it weird over here, dude. That's how uncultured I am. Just assume they're giving you a Mexican side dish with, with fried fish. Favorite things? Mm. Anybody? My favorite things and like I, is the pub culture. It's just like again, I just booze bag. But like I love the you go in. I love the little booths that they have. I love the just the fact that it's like two or three people having a beer. The fact that like going having a beer. New York doesn't have that anymore. I guess Philly has it to an extent, but like it's not like a scene. It's not like a, it's it's hard to explain. But it's, it's just different. going for a beer. I'm the, just going to go get a beer. The, the, no loud music. The music's uh, un, underneath the conversation. It's set up for getting hammered and talking shit. Yeah, it's but great. Also, the vibe like of where we had lunch yesterday, you kind of have to match the vibe, and they all kind of vary. Like You got to be kind of quiet in certain places. Oh, yeah. Like The way oh, everybody yeah. was looking at us when we were coming into that place, Like it seemed like we were the focus for like the first 15 minutes we were it's there. It's like walking into the bar at Star Wars. Yeah. And then when we got to Grave Diggers, and you were already there, and you said... Hey, it's a scene in there. It's like a bar full of morticians, yeah, dude. That's what it is. Well, that's, what, that's originally how it started. It was for the it was for grave diggers and the well, people. They, at the let me tell you, they nailed the vibe. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. great. Everyone I, didn't, I thought it. we were walking in like the Westies or it, something it, like it, that. It looked like everyone in there was setting up a hit yeah. on their wife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a, Just like I, you can do it for five grand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she goes to the store on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I'll be at work. Also, I don't think we do that. We get a couple in us. And then we start doing the accent. He, that, dude, I had a yell at him like, yesterday. I mean, we, I've, I've, I'm here. guilty of it. We're all guilty of it. Of like, dude, we're me. just walking down the street making, you know, hi, I'm walking. Lawyer, <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> just uh, mumbling and being an asshole. I'm like, it's yeah. out of admiration. I know. It's, uh, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, we got to fucking bring that up a little bit. Get knocked out over here. Uh -huh. yeah, I no. was literally two minutes Luke away got from. beat up by the, the guard at the Guinness factory. Oh when? yeah, that, that, that little guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Staring him down. What's this all about? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like Irish hospitality. You're going on a tour, it's sir. A, what's in there? You'll find out soon enough. Bye. It's a secret, boy. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp, gang. How do you recharge? Do you need a night out with friends or do you need time alone? I like a little bit of both. It's important to build a social life that doesn't drain you. Therapy can help you figure out what that looks like. 
BetterHelp is amazing. Their trained therapists will work with you to help set boundaries, learn positive coping skills, which I need a little dose on, and the best version and become the best version of yourself. You can talk to a therapist over video call, phone, or even by messages, whatever works for you. You got a busy lifestyle, they they can accommodate it. I've always said talk therapy is a great tool to use either for a long time, short times, if you're just getting out of a relationship, lost of a loved one, anything you need to where you're you're frazzled in your head, you got to get some ideas out and you have a wall to bounce off. Talk therapy is fantastic. Just take a quick quiz and get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Yeah, yeah that's uh, – there is like the – I do love that, though. The very It's a very ball busty yeah. – uh, rough and tumble they're like everybody everybody has a quip immediately you know what i mean like even when you were he luke tried to order like a raspberry beer we went to the guinness he tried factory to order a mixed drink at the guinness <laughs> and factory. then they only have like guinness and maybe like they're they have like a new lager or something and then the the double zero Which was alcohol delicious. free that they're they're pushing and luke's something like 13 uh the guinness lager it's, it's hard to get a real 13 special i don't know something yeah. like that it's hard to get a gauge on whether the, the beers are actually can I good or not? Because they're they, they knock them out of they do them so well. You not getting a Guinness at the Guinness plant would be like getting peanut butter at the Hershey's factory. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Which I've you done. Didn't, <laughs> you didn't have. <laughs> I mean, it was just summer in '98. Hershey's is Her, Hershey's is known just as much for their peanut butter as their chocolate. All right, bad example. Reese's. Yeah, but they're not known. Uh, Guinness isn't known for their storehouse lager. They're known for their Guinness. No, of course. And I had a few of those, but I I, I I've been I've been off the IPAs. And I've been really focusing on crisp beers. <laughs> and, crisp and beers. All of the food in Ireland. <laughs> all the food in Ireland. Is that where you put uh, chips in your beer? <laughs> crisps. I'll have a crisps, please. Um, also, hold on. Before we forget, shout out no. to Michael, a uh, listener who works at the... Ah, the Guinness uh, Factory. He all works yes. at the tour on the Guinness Factory. Yeah. Shout out to you, big guy. Nice guy. Good public speaker. But yeah, mm -hmm. to your point of the, the bartender. He had bits already built in. I didn't, before yeah, I great. knew he was a fan, I was like, oh, that was a pretty good. I leaned over to him. We have it on tape, probably. Yeah. I went, that was a pretty good bit. But uh, Luke was like, uh, I saw that you had the uh, raspberry, and the bartender was like, oh, did you? Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> just like they, they, they which That's I love just to me, rope boy. Just them right in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you uh, did tell me more? a little more? umbrella and a little orange thing? Yeah, not here. <laughs> <laughs> now get out. Um, I love that. Yeah, I love that little edge they have. To, it's a, uh, it's like a, uh, it's very similar to the podcast of like you were like not arguing, but you know, it's it, like chess a little bit. It, it's got a very East Coast vibe. Everything yeah. over here, it's a little crusty. It's a little rough and tumble. Big cologne culture and perfume. I've noticed Europe is as a whole. Yeah, smells really good. The old ladies all smell really good. They all smell like my aunts, like Aunt Riri and Tootie. Everybody does smell good, and every dude has Minus the, the exact Miller same haircut. Salons. Yeah, everyone's got what the exact same haircut. Sure. A lot of same faces. Too. A lot yeah. of same. It's all. It's all the the shaved side and the poof on top. Yeah, palm tree look. Oh boy, hell of a time, man. Yeah, it's crazy been, that we're here. It's been cool. Yeah, it's been fucking nuts that we've been able to do this. You know, five of us over here for so long. It's just the beginning too. We're gonna like we it's said, supposed we're to going, be four, but it's supposed to be four. But we were well. The, here, let's. The, we were supposed to be doing shows. And as you know, Tommy comes to all the show. Tommy uh, opens up all the live shows. Already got the ticket. What are you going to do? <laughs> so. No, we bought the tickets planning on doing maybe one or two shows. One or two. We're going to do yeah, London and said. Dublin. And then the dates. With so you got to bring Tommy. So you got to bring Tommy. And the dates and the venues just didn't fucking work out. So he canceled the shows. Mm hmm. The luck of the Irish boy. <laughs> Man, this kid keeps stepping in shit. The luck huh? of the dirt balls is more like it. Dude, I pulled up to that bar and Tommy was walking out of that graveyard. I was like, what? <laughs> Who did we bring, dude? I literally... I killed the others. What? I was, was getting kicked out of the Tommy graveyard. Tommy likes a good cemetery. <laughs> I was two minutes away from being locked in there overnight. Two. If goes, I would have went the other goes, way, I, I would have go back and take another look. I was like, never return to the scene of the crime there. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, they would have let you out, I'm sure. I'm sure you could have climbed one of those fences. They were pretty high, bro. An iron fence? Oh, man. Yeah. Tommy, if you would have got stuck in there. It would have been great for the for Patreon. Yeah, I would I would have stood there with you until the sun went down, and then I would have got the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I would have went straight to the... I, listen, I would have went to a church. When the banshee starts I screaming. I would have said Hail Marys all night for you uh -uh. From, 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 from the safety of the tabernacle. Uh -uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but man, there is no way an Irish cemetery. That was like one of the, it's like from like the 1400s. So it wasn't oh, a new dude, one. Because it wasn't way. something that popped up in the 80s. No, no, no. This thing was antique. There was also two I paths. I wasn't made with Miami Coke money. <laughs> there were two paths because I went twice. So the first one time. One for the living and one for the dead. The one time. <laughs> you've chosen the wrong path, boy. The one time I went down the right path and then the second time I went down the left path. And when I went down the left path, the guy locking the door was coming up and he was like, I'm locking up, boy. And I said, oh, okay. Did he call you boy? I don't know. But if you're not dead, you're about to be. <laughs> Act accordingly. But Back I was like, to hell with you. I was like, okay, I'll hurry up and get out. But if I would have went down the right path, would have never saw he wouldn't have seen me because he was would have already done that and I would have probably been locked in. But all all's well that ends well. Beautiful Man. over there though. Got some nice pictures. Maybe I'll put Who them on my pictures feed. of a cemetery. We did the, the same sun thing. Was we, setting. We, we, those old cemeteries are cool. There's a there's there's a real old one down in the financial district. Where Alexander Hamilton is buried at Trinity Church. The way you guys like to drink, He's I like to dead. look at cemeteries. What? It's got to play on Broadway. <laughs> the what way, you say, Tommy? I'm sorry. The way you guys like to drink, I like to be like outside looking at weird shit like cemeteries and stuff. That's my getting really drunk. Sure. <laughs> Creeping everybody out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the older Walking I get. Walking in both worlds, you fucking yeah. You know, you guys freak. like going out and having a good time. I like so, looking in people's yeah, windows. Yeah. <laughs> you like socializing with your friends and creating memories? I like to creep people in. Do you, do you read the... Uh, I like to read the. I like to read and say the names of people on their headstones out loud because I feel like that's bringing them that's back. Fight Club shit back into life. No, he, he can't. He can't read inside no, his head. He's got to do it out loud. <laughs> it's true. I have trouble with it. Mm -hmm. As we here lies Aunt Baby. <laughs> no, but I do that all the time. Like Cochran. Let's say John Cochran. Good job, John, yeah. Johnny Cochran died. <laughs> <laughs> he did die. Holy <laughs> shit! Ago. Rest in peace. I but didn't know you, he was Irish. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> on his mom's side. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I you don't, don't do that. I don't say the I people's like, names out loud I to invoke like puts, the dead. Puts their name back into the world, like you know, like they're remembered. No, that's what, something my mom does. Like <laughs> I was riding with my mom like. recently, and like we were driving by like a uh, cemetery with like our family members. She's, and she's holding like, her breath. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's rude to breathe says, in front of the dead. That's she goes, slender, man. She goes, <laughs> hi. <laughs> she says, hi, Donnie. She hi, Joe. She's stuck in traffic. Shit. <laughs> goddamn, goddamn Atlantic City lights. She just says hi to everybody. Hi, Donnie. Hi, Joe. Oh, when you drive by the cemetery, you're probably working in there. Hi, Mom. <laughs> probably grave robbing. Yeah. Oh, there's Steve stealing someone else's flowers. <laughs> Give me some gold too, sweet you can. Yeah. We did the same thing. Uh, my Uncle Mike and Aunt Colleen are buried on my way to my cousin Kelly's. And, we, and if we usually we stop, but uh, I yes, think. Yes, for money. <laughs> we, I think we were on our way out there to Christmas this year, and uh, we were late. So as you drove by, yeah, we always say, say hi. We do the same thing. If somebody's in there, yeah. Okay. Again, that's why I don't want to be put in a cemetery. I want to be cremated and put on the mantle. Hanging around all you guys. I, I know. They got mantles in Wawa? <laughs> <laughs> we Wait, were you trying to get a little bit of yet? <laughs> no. That's a little bit. I don't know, Just keep me somewhere. Why is this my responsibility? I'm not saying it is. He we, did. He said he wanted to be around us. You're, they would go to your lady. Sure. Do we cremate the T-shirt too? Oh, probably, probably watch her and her new man's too. <laughs> Put that in the bedroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know big man's big man likes to peek. Uh -huh. Hey, watchy watchy. <laughs> Get a GoPro on that urn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a looker. Hey, why is that jar of peanut butter looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> that thing smells. Oh, man, yeah. putting somebody in a jar of peanut butter is fucking brutal. Uh, is it me or is there a lens on that jar of Skippy? Oh, my God. Uh, we put him in a Peter Pan because he's going to be young forever. That's right. Oh, man. That's funny. Oh, man. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think... Uh... I'm listen. I don't know what you guys have planned. We're, we're out of Dublin tomorrow. <laughs> what we have planned? You got all the. You got everything planned. I meant for doing. I just want to be at the bar. I, you guys want to go to church? I don't necessarily want to go to church. Church is five minutes. I just want to see the inside of the church. Yeah, we, we go, I, I don't. We're not. I, 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 I was with you all the way. I didn't even leave you at the casino last night. 
You wanted to. Hey, are you about done? And then I hit it big. Yeah, then he scores it big. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, I think you're looking at the church all wrong. We just want to pop in, say a quick prayer, light a candle, hop okay. in, hop out. That's all. See hey, the architecture. Up? Yeah. Old ass churches, man. Okay. Take a walk to the cemetery? No, that's what I'm saying. Find me a grave digger. <laughs> Find me it posted up at the bar. I think that's fair. I mean, of course it is. Sure. I don't We've all kind of done our own things a little bit. You want to drink after this? Like, you're ready to go again? Not, I mean, listen, no, but uh, I'm in Ireland with the fucking boys. I'd go sure. for a sip. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's easy to get on board. Luke Luke falls in line. No, Luke needs a day. I'm positive. Dude, I was ready to shove Luke out of that Uber. I'll tell you, that kid was a screaming. Oh. Wait, you guys took an Uber no, home? No, we took an Uber from Gravediggers last night. Oh, we were all screaming in that Uber. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were. I hope you tip that yeah. guy nice. My God. <laughs> I remember I kept going, I'll pay you with, do you take cash? He's like, you already paid. I'm like, no, I didn't. And he's like, yeah, you did. I was like, oh, it's Uber. I paid. <laughs> you were telling Luke he was unattractive. I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, man. He's a good looking he kid. I don't think I said he's unattractive. I think I was trying to win an argument at the moment, too. So I was getting a little mean. Also, he wasn't. He he was fighting back. This place dog was barking at me. Yeah, he was. We were all yelling in that Uber. That yeah, that was, had to be uh, painful for the guy, but it is what it that is. That was hey, an we, ugly scene. Uh, we are turning for, into, uh, you know. It wasn't great for me either. <laughs> and I keep forgetting Toby's sober through all oh, of this. Oh, that, that one lady did walk, that one lady with the missing tooth walked by us. I can't remember who I told. Was it you? They, uh, wa- they saw us walking, and, and they walked by me, and she's like, huh, probably Americans. <laughs> Look at the size of them. Oh Someone else Jesus. said that to us too. Of like, you're American, obviously. I forget who that yeah, was. Yeah, but that wasn't like a dickhead thing. It was a it was little like a bit. Weed or something. Yeah, because yeah, he heard us talk. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, you're from America, obviously. Wait a minute. I thought that was at the casino. How I was... think that was at the Guinness. No, that place. was at the Guinness factory. Oh, okay. That was the guy who came up. He's like, oh, what are you filming or whatever? Mm. And then, yeah, I don't guy. care. I just want to know. I'm just following you guys around like David Attenborough if he owed the IRS money. He's yeah. doing the weirdest doc of all time. <laughs> Watch these two fat idiots drink a pint. They're yelling, Luke, you're not even on. Oh I'm a God. 38-year-old married balding male. You are the f- not hot. The fat one will proceed to eat the sausages <laughs> as, as the skinny weird one walks through the graveyard. <laughs> as you notice, the big one steals the other's food. As the sun goes down, the bald one is already intoxicated. <laughs> making lewd gestures at the other skinny one. You can see them making a big deal of who's the most attractive in the back. The leader is not, is not taking it well. <laughs> No, I was saying we were all ugly. That's, that was my point. It's like there's five ugly dudes in a car right now. That was my point, which I think is a fair assessment. I think you're more than Luke. That's crazy. Young, good-looking we kid. All stink. Yeah, I mean, what do you? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a handsome guy. But uh... yeah, maybe in the graveyard. <laughs> You're a graveyard eight, baby. <laughs> Can we get a one shot on there? Real quick? The, the crows are whistling at you. Um, I just think st- there's good meat on those. We started to talk about you two fucking tackling old women at the Guinness factory. Get up to the top floor. What My do you God. mean? What? The Guinness Museum that you guys ran through. I never saw Foley go so quick. <laughs> fucking. It doesn't look like you guys are running suicides. Yeah, we had business together. <laughs> yeah. You had me learning about yeast and stuff. It's like, yeah. buddy, make good with the juice. <laughs> Kippy needs his aha juice. <laughs> I'm on medicine right now. Let's go. <laughs> yeast, hops, and barley, huh? <laughs> yeah. What do I got? A sinus infection? Let's go. I felt like I was dude, I'm so bad in those moments where it's like, it is a very nice museum. Or like, you know, uh, awesome. experience or whatever you want to call it. You walk through and they show you that they, t- they tell you about the water that they use and the yeast and the barley and the everything and the smoking process and the all the all the kind of shit. And I'm literally I go and I go, all right, stand here and look like you're reading. And I count to like 10. I go, <laughs> oh, no yeah. way. Uh, I do that all the uh, time. No yes, way, it's dude. Dude. All the yeah. time, dude. Yeah, dude, that's so boring. You don't to fake me. read. You know what's <laughs> no. you know what's uh, I fake read everything. <laughs> I've gotten busted by the, by my girl so many times. Like if, we, if, if we're somewhere and like we're doing like a tour, she's like, what's it say? I'm like, well, uh, what? I don't know. Yeah. You know, what's bad. My wife can read 
quick English quicker than I can. Oh, that's Damn. brutal. But if we're like reading an article on something like on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah, it's something. And she's like, okay, go. And I'm like, Ugh. oh, I hate reading with somebody like that. I'm like, I had to start over. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you guys, when I you got got, a lazy eye. <laughs> when you guys look up at stuff, do you have to remind yourself to close your mouth? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I'm all like, listen, it's so boring. Why <laughs> would I want to read? In there. I want to read about yeast. It's like, dude, all the beer in the world is upstairs. I had to, it's like. I'm never going to fucking stay engaged. Literally, again. one of the... And the, I don't care. The best of the best. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. I like toward the end of you one hot Guinness room. Guinness at a Guinness factory. And you didn't even have it. Yeah, I did. I had a couple Guinnesses. Regs? Guin yeah, right. Yeah. I had a couple of regs. He also, I just switched he also conned the, uh, the samples, too. He was the only person to have two samples. Remember yeah. in the little they didn't tell us not to drink it. They literally, they literally did. said, "Don't drink it." Yeah, he said, "Take it in the next room, and you'll learn how to drink it." You would have heard it if you went over there in the corner counting. <laughs> <laughs> One Mississippi, two One Michi barley wheat, <laughs> two barley wheat. <laughs> I was reading about John Guinness, <laughs> Arthur Guinness. Ah, the Black Gates. It was a good time. Yeah, that. I mean, that was that was really the only actual experience that I wanted to do. That and the, the Jameson factory. <laughs> you are cultureless, oh, bro. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Is <laughs> that in town, too? I traveled more than you. I experienced the real culture. It's stupid for oh, me to Oh, where are you? Where are you even travel-wise? No. What are you talking about? I got you beat. No way. Country-wise? I don't think so. <laughs> May, remember, Man, Toby was the one that knew about the sausage rolls. France, Spain. He's an innovator in my book. Every country in the UK except Northern Ireland. It's like two countries. That's like four. Okay. And then we got we're both we both on Mexico, both on Canada. You got you got me on Germany. We these, both, two are, these two are breaking up, huh, Tommy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we you, hate, you hate to see couples fighting. What are you doing? Let me give you love. Get over here. <laughs> we, ass. We've both been to Delaware County. <laughs> <laughs> Community college. It's lovely this time of year, yeah. right? <laughs> I don't stand on airs. I ain't been nowhere. I'm soaking it all in for the first time. That's why I'm eating so many sausage rolls. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Shut the fuck up. Let me enjoy myself. Sure. The bacon's this thick over here. And dude, the bacon is undercooked. We got, <laughs> dude, we got, with the first, so we get here, we drop our gear off. The owner of our Airbnb owns a bar where he's like, you can drop your stuff off there at the bar. And then just go out your day. And so I can look ready. at all your shit while you're <laughs> walking around. See so who's wearing the sexy undies. Come back. He's got my underwear on his head. Hey, those are sheets. Um, there were two big parachutes in the one guy's bag. <laughs> what are you? It looks like the big fella only brought one T-shirt. Um, so we go get a full Irish breakfast. That was the first thing. We have Lukey Padukey looks it up. Where to go get a good Irish breakfast. We go down to our temple bar. Elephant and Castle or something like that it was called. Nice joint. And man, every piece of meat was mushy, undercooked, and cold. And they gave you nine pieces of meat on the plate. I could the blood sausage was okay, not for me. A little dry. I thought it was they all had awesome. A, they had a, for, yeah, I wasn't crazy about the blood sausage. They had yeah, me too. They I don't a, know if that was a home run in in in, uh, in Ireland vote. standards. Yes. It, it was not. Yeah, but what but I the bacon. Sorry, Tommy. It's bacon more like corned beef. It. I loved it. Yeah, but there was two different kinds of bacon. There was the bacon we had for breakfast, and then there was the bacon that we split at lunch. And the bacon we had at lunch was the best thing I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it was crazy. You were drunk. It was so good, I man. Was. It was so good. No, it was delicious. It was like it was the like, Hollandaise. Yeah, it was like pastrami. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that cream sauce on top. Man. Well, you guys say we get out of here and go get some undercooked yeah. bacon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. This place has got my number. I'm happy as a pig and shit over here. Yeah, I did poop my pants. <laughs> really? No. A little um, on the nose. Um, by the way, there's too many dudes in this house for the <laughs> antique plumbing, and it is. There's an open sewer pipe somewhere. There's a there's a clogged vent. Something's happening. Where we have to air this place out. They are not for equipped for the behemoth dumps. No. This crew is dropping. But I think dude. they would. I mean, there's bunk beds in the one room, right? Mm hmm. Dude, so that room looks Japanese. That's how tight and like <laughs> it looks like Luke is living in Japan. It's you look like a Japanese businessman in there. It's crazy. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, it's so crazy. It's in a different. It looks like a different part. Of, this house is beautiful. They got it's all. They got all the trinkets. All it's painted very new but old, and the nice kitchen and everything. But I mean, your 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 room looks different. I hate I hate European beds too. 
They don't do it for me. Mine's all right. Mine's okay, but like you can't get cozy woozy. That's another about. thing too. Oh, I can't. Great. And the two blanket system is crazy. I know, but two blankets. But the problem is they're not heavy enough. They're light, so like you no, know, mine's nice. I, I got two. I, dude, I've been sleeping soundly. Back I got there. two thick ones. It's like a weighted blanket. On. Yeah. I, I got light ones where they like they don't fall. If you like do that, it like stays up. You know what I mean? Oh, I hate. That. Yeah, they're like yeah, yeah, those they're, cheap ones. They don't like, they don't form around you. I need I need a I need a blanket to form around sure. me. Like it's parachute day in PE. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was oh, crazy that we did that. Why we, parachute day? That every kid in America did that? That was that's wild to me. Wait, why is it crazy? It's just an instant. Have you, know, you ever done it ever in the rest of your life? I'm not in grade school anymore. But okay, but you know what? Well, that you're saying every kid did it. What are, you, what are you talking about? That is like a common thing throughout America. Is that it's a in universal the 90s, experience. 80s and 90s? It's yes. It's almost obviously not a hundred percent correct, but it is a universal experience that a lot of people have. Yeah, just like playing kickball or doing whatever in gym class. Well, what it probably yeah, but that's not a game. Parachutes, not a. That's you see what I'm saying. You, you, it's not a game. I'm talking about when they would just put that one. Yeah, day just day. like oh, like every kid in America at one point has just been like, this is the coolest day of the year. It's parachute day. Yeah, it's parachute. Day. Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. That. That's that, you that, never ever then played parachute after that. that. That was the one and only time I've ever been under a parachute. Yeah, skydiving. That was the only time I've ever been skydiving. Actually, <laughs> folks, that's how they, I got my start as a stuntman. I wonder if they brought that in special, or is that always no, at no? The this, school? Is, this is what I'm just thinking. No, there's, there's probably one guy with the did warehouse. Did you do it? it with, of course. That's the, what, what I'm that's saying. What we're it's how nuts you is, did it. At are crazy you just school? over there counting? What are you doing? Yeah, what do we literally? <laughs> <laughs> you did it at crazy school too? No, I went. I, that was that was elementary school. Okay, all right. Did no, no, you but, do it, Luke? Yeah. What did you do it, Tommy, in your halfway house? Holy family, baby, class of 99. Yeah, we had a good time. What it probably, probably was, it was just, is there was, was one guy sheet. in New Jersey who had a who had like a warehouse full of parachutes. And he Got was in like, with the school he was, district. He was like, I'm calling every school district in America and making this happen. <laughs> it was me. That was my favorite day. We also did line dancing, too, which is a little weird. Oh, yeah, I'd so love to see a little seven-year-old give me. Doing the hide him, hide him my stinger holding the girl named Janelle. Uh, we, did, we did that too. Just one hand on your belt, chocolate milk in the other. <laughs> Howdy, lady. Can I offer you a dance? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm milk. already bald. Uh, just some. You're you're fucking up all the steps. The coast is pitching. Box step, Kimmy. Box I was step. I was horrible mm. at it. Grab I, your partner, swing her around. <laughs> it, well, it was that. Got a little stinger. Don't I, turn around. <laughs> Tuck it up. Eat in your belt. Um, Guys, everyone pair up. Someone has to dance with Ryan. Ladies, I know you don't want to. I'm dancing with the I'm dancing with the teacher. I danced with the teacher before. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, shot. Yeah. Uh, I danced with the teacher What was his day. name? <laughs> it wasn't Mr. Dude. Calvecchio. <laughs> I think it was like somehow the, the numbers What was down. your gym teacher's name? Uh, this wasn't the one I danced with, but our original old school. <laughs> the one that got away. Old I'll school gym teacher was Mr. Smith, and he was That's a pretty legendary. good one, Tommy. <laughs> my, I can't remember my gym teacher's name off the top of my Ours head. Ours was Mr. Whitmer. Whitmer's all right. A classic gym teacher. Yeah. Track Kay. pants, white polo shirt tucked in, mm -hmm. whistle, you know, athletic shoes. Fucking was in. Taught us a whole generation of how to shoot a basketball wrong. Can you just... <laughs> <laughs> the Whitmer W. He was this. Shoot it like that. He goes, pull up your Whitmer W's, and you push it. What? <laughs> Ruined my chance of getting the lead, dude. That's insane. Yeah, the gym teacher has to teach something else, right? You can't just be a gym teacher. Ours was just mm -hmm. a gym teacher. Yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah, in elementary school. Then they then the other ones were, mo when you got to junior high, were mostly health. Yeah, that's got to be yeah. a good gig. I feel like yeah. they do like they do like they in-school suspension on the weekday, on the weekends. Just get, yeah, probably just get they draw that straw a lot. Probably get a lot of disciplinary stuff. Do uh, the cafeteria and all that crap. Fucking Jersey City's calling me. Yikes. That's really? a, That's America's problems. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, I'll, I'll call you when I touch back I down also, in the I also like that, too, being, being you know. Oh, it's great. It's just us. We're here. All the bullshit back in New York, whatever. Yeah, all, all yeah. you know. Sleeping like left, an angel. Left my you. wife. I know. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to come back angry. All your problems are going to be fucking. They're just growing right now. Waiting for you, JFK, like a limousine driver. Get Mr. Foley. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never come. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. We got to fucking. We got to wrap it up here, gang. What a fun one. Yeah, it's uh, been great. What a great trip uh, that we're having. With so much more ahead of us. Excited. You guys are fucking awesome. I love each and every one of you. Shout out to the fucking. Shout out to the homies, man. The Army of Garbage, baby. Yeah, for, You're for fucking. Getting us here. We can't thank you enough. 
We're going to be doing uh, bonus episodes on the Patreon that are, that are going to be hitting real soon. Mm-hmm. Um, There's going to be a bunch of content all going on the Patreon. There's yeah. going to be, you know, we're not exactly sure how it's all going to shake out, but, you know, three to four videos or whatever all going out. And it's uh, pretty fun because we've been acting like animals. It's This is the most contained that we've been. <laughs> <laughs> By far, dude. Yeah, Check out Kippy's special. Check out my special. Yep. Uh, grab tickets to the live show. Right when we get back, we kick it off in uh, Charlotte, Nashville, Atlanta, and Tampa. Get those tickies. And check out Mr. Tom Cassidy's new pod with Mr. Alex Pavone. Yeah. Cat the Daddy and the Pizza Squirrel, baby, every Sports Friday Gambling morning. podcast. Something like that. Yep, baby. <laughs> Why'd you ruin it at the end? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I just laughed. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.